Well, check out this photo taken by one of our viewers, Eric Bollier, this morning in Lewiston. He called it a very strange looking sunrise. Yeah, and here's why. <sighs> Now, before you say it must have been an issue with his camera or the lens, we double checked with Eric, by the way. He said the sun looked like that with a naked eye as well. Although, of course, he could not look directly at it very long. What's up hmm. with that? So, so I've, I have not seen huh. that, and uh, I sent it around to some of my fellow weenies. Hmm. And uh, we couldn't come up with anything. Really? Yeah, the, the brain trust of weenies could not. Not the answer I was hoping for. I know, me honest. too. <laughs> now I, I just have more questions. I, <laughs> Because there's all kinds of optical things that can happen, like sun dogs and whatnot. You mm. can actually see a sun halo in that picture. But, but what I don't understand about it is how you would end up with almost an eclipse, like, right. yeah. like what would be blocking the sun mm. in a very specific way that way. So I don't, because everybody responded what what we just talked about, which is it must be the camera, right? Right. Like something was how it had a problem. So, and if somebody has something at home. Feel yeah. free to let me know. But. but also part of that was it was a very a lot of people commenting it was a light pink sunrise yes. because mm. of all the, the smoke. Smoke. The yeah. smoke. Yeah. yeah, and th that makes sense. The rest of it I can't explain, unfortunately. Uh, all right, let's talk about that smoke because you will see it on satellite here in a second, and that's what kind of changed our day in a, a lot of spots. It was just we expected it to be a little bit sunnier, and the smoke came in, and we can just see it. Look at it right there settled into down east Maine, the mid coast, and then we lost the angle on it. These are normal clouds. That's smoke right there, and that knocked off a couple of degrees from our temperature. Wildfire smoke product shows you the density of it, also models it just kind of sticking around tonight through tomorrow. I don't think you'll notice it quite as much tomorrow simply because we will see other cloud cover around, so that will mask it a little bit, especially at the mid levels of the atmosphere. And then the smoke looks to move away for the weekend, so it should not be a factor for us uh, over the weekend. Pretty easy to figure out, though, who dealt with the smoke and who didn't. 70 plus away from the smoke, Bangor North, 60s South. What happens is during the middle of the summer, July or August, smoke might, we might lose a degree or two. The sun angle's still high, kind of cuts right through it. This time of the year, the sun angle's lower, so that smoke has a bigger effect. And you can see in some cases, three, four, five degrees difference when the smoke is in place. Enough about that. Overnight tonight is quiet. Temperatures in the 40s. You can see more clouds moving in tomorrow, and I think it will be kind of a filtered sunshine day between that wildfire smoke and the clouds, especially over southern Maine. The showers look to stay just about south of Maine, maybe just right about Kittery is where the last of the shower activity is on Friday night. And then Saturday morning we wake up and there's some clouds along the coast. We burn those off. We get to about 70 on Saturday afternoon. And the weekend looks great from Saturday midday on through Sunday into the mid 70s. There's really not a whole lot going on in a good way. So remember, this is all from that one high that's placed over us, retrogrades, moves back to the west, shoves this low down to the south. I'll show you how that's going to look for southern New England in a second. It just keeps us in good shape through the weekend. And next week, is, it's a lock. It looks great. I mean, it's really, we're just talking about, oh, is it going to be 76 or 78? Good problem to have in early October when the average high is 65. So we are in great shape through the beginning of October. We talked yesterday about the European model and how I was dismissing its rain chances in Maine. And I'm glad I did because even it dismissed its rain chances in Maine with today's model run pushing it south closer to that GFS solution. I do want to point out to you, though, because you might hear about this by uh, the end of the weekend, especially there could be some significant flooding down across southern New England. So another deal where we're in good shape, but look down here, three to five inches, five to seven inches of rain is possible across parts of New York State and down into New York City and maybe southern Connecticut. So it's going to be uh, actually a big flooding situation there. We're going to stay out of that fray, luckily. And we've got a couple of shots at 80. I think Tuesday's one. I think Wednesday's another. We're probably talking like 80, 81. Let's not get crazy. But still, it counts. still, yeah. it counts. Yeah, we had trouble with that all summer. Um, and yeah, I just really like next week. I just don't, I don't see anything going on straight mm. through at least Thursday of next week. Temperatures generally between 75 and 80. Print it. So Tuesday and Wednesday, some people will be complaining it's so warm. I wondered about that. I actually mm. noticed on the seven day, and I don't know which of our, our meteor fellow meteorologists wrote it, it said hot. And I was like, I don't Ooh, know. No, I would not know that's that's here. I think 85 mm. plus, and the, and yeah. the dew points are low yeah. too, so that's important. But comparatively, sure. it will feel warm. Sure. The only other frustrating part to it, like as a parent is dressing your child yeah, you for, for this kind of weather. It's yeah. so hard because it changes so oh, much Oh, you can throughout. still dress your kid. Oh, yeah. My, yeah. Mine wears the same sport <laughs> shirt every day. Uh, pretty much. Or he's, Will or he's Batman, time. He's right? an athleisure guy, I figured out. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Be comfortable. <laughs> Keith, thanks so much.